Now I know it's still a little complicated, so here's a really simple analogy. Imagine a train running on a set of tracks. Now the tracks themselves is the XRP ledger, and what's being transported, these little train cars, are real USD. That's the stable coin. But in order for the cars to use the tracks, it has to burn XRP as a form of payment. But it's not just payments. Reason number two is because it goes hand in hand with the repeal of something called SAB 121, which is an accounting standard that has now changed starting this year. That means banks can now custody or hold your crypto and lend against it. And if real USD plays a part of that, it could also boost the ecosystem by providing the money or liquidity and stability needed for the banks to allow borrowing, lending, and trading. The more activity on XRPL means more demand for XRP to pay transaction fees, which could also drive up its value. The risk though is that if real USD, the stable coin, becomes too dominant, it could overshadow XRP in some use cases. Especially if I'm a country and I just want to buy some oil, I want to send a billion dollars, I don't necessarily want to use a volatile currency that could be worth a couple percentage points less by the time it arrives to the other side. So just keep that in mind, but I think the Ripple team probably has solutions like the dual currency example I just showed you.